As I was saying, this is uh, a letter sent to Luisa Oyarsun, uh telling her that she was placed or put into a program without her knowledge or consent as the Department of Social Services, uh, the Social Security Administration Office's employees and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services always do. Um, they steal the citizen's identity uh, information, social security number, demographic information, etc., and put them in uh, different managed cares, uh, managed, ca managed care programs when they know that they are chronically ill, like Luisa Oyasun, and they cannot be in a managed care program. Um, they uh, says he, they say here that. They gave her uh, a primary health care provider when they know that she has to go to different um, doctors and she might change um, health care provider uh, uh, frequently because um, uh, many of them uh, don't have the, the uh, expertise that they need to take care of a chronically ill person like Luisa Oyarsun. Um, so after they have been selling her New York State trade medicates to illegals uh, and illegal aliens mafia members for the last, uh, I would say, 12 years, uh, they have placed her uh, into different um, managed care plans to cover up the hole that they leave uh, and to try to cover up the, their trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. Uh, she has been placed in uh, Health uh, First, uh, which uh, was used when she went to see a doctor, a general medicine doctor, uh, in the Bronx, New York, uh, at the Bed Bedford Park um, Clinic, uh, which is a community clinic uh, run by the Illegal Aliens Mafia, specifically uh, uh, for the purpose of falsifying the citizens' identities and government benefits uh, in favor of the illegal aliens mafia and their trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. So we are talking about falsification of medical records, uh, falsification of citizens' identities uh, documents, and uh, the selling of citizens' identities um, at the different doctor's office uh, with the purpose of taking care of illegals with the citizens' identities and having the taxpayers uh, pick up the tab, pick up uh, the uh, bill and pay, and pay the bills for the illegals in the country. So this is another scheme uh, uh, to try to cover up the trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. It is from the Department of Health, Office of Health Insurance Programs, uh, P.O. Box 15-064. Albany, New York, 12212. And it says here, New York State Department of Health. Okay, it says here, New York State Notice of Important, of important Document. There is no change to your Medicaid. That's good because she has never, she hasn't got, uh, had her Medicaid for the last uh, six years uh, at least, and illegals have been using her Medicaid. So she's glad that it hasn't changed. Uh, it says here, this is this letter is about a new program that New York uh, State has uh, started for our Medicaid members. Um, we know, we know getting the health care you need is sometimes difficult. I would say so when you when millions of citizens' health care benefits are being sold to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members across the country and they have to go without uh, medical care and without medication until they die. I would say that would be uh, the word to use, difficult. Uh, it says here, we want to change, uh, we want that to change. You should have a primary health care provider, of course, the person that they can go to and tell, uh, falsify that record for us and this record and this record uh, of this patient so we can continue to steal uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars from the taxpayers and uh, put in these this citizens in different uh, government programs so we can milk the taxpayers for money. And it says here, uh, we know getting the health care, okay, okay, uh, it says here, 
the getting the healthcare healthcare is difficult since uh, you continue to sell my Medicaid to illegals. That's that's a note that we saw you and put there. Okay, it says here the following are PPs uh, that will be working together to provide services in your community. I would say so. They work together very well, falsifying medical records and killing citizens so they don't talk uh, and while they take care of the illegals with the citizens' identities and government benefits. Uh, it says here, so um, as you can see, this is a little bit more uh, of the modus operandi of the illegal aliens mafia and the way they y use the citizens' um, health records and uh, citizens' uh, personal and confidential information to sign up, uh, sign them up for different uh, government benefits and programs for which the citizens never ask, and um, uh, to have the citizens uh, get benefits which never get, which they never get because illegals get these benefits. And uh, this is why they take the the um, medical insurance, the true medical insurances of the citizens, uh, and um, sell them to illegals, and then they can come they they come up with these uh, little plans that uh, kill the citizens instead of helping them. In, in Luis Ollarson's case, the law the law cites that this is uh, a limitation, that this limits, quote unquote, um, uh, citizens who are chronically ill and, has, uh, and have to have, uh, must have Medicaid, New York State straight Medicaid, to be able to survive. Uh, and so since the government employees, like the Department of Social Services employees and Department of Medicare, Medicare, Medicaid Services, and the, the, the Social Security Administration offices uh, employees. Since these employees, government employees, uh, sell the citizens' identities and government benefits, including the New York State straight Medicaid, uh, to illegals because it covers 100% of the medical insurance or all the, the bills. Uh, they sell these to illegals, these Medicaid, and then have the. Um, uh, citizens uh, put into medical insurances which they cannot use uh, and are of no good to them, are no good to them. So I hope that you uh, understand a little bit more about the illegal mo uh, mafia modus operandi and uh, are able to defend yourself when they do it to you. Because according to my 15 years research, um, they have done it to millions of uh, USA citizens, and this is why Luisa Oyarzun uh, was uh, convinced that uh, exposing her case as a sample case would help uh, you guys out there.